What's going on, Seekies fans? Jodor here, your coach of the Seattle Sea Kings, and today we are taking on Baby Powder, coach of the AV Duns Barcelona. Get excited for an awesome battle. I feel like this one's going to be a quick one, not necessarily a win, but one that uh, is going to be showing a lot of death, a lot of carnage, really quickly. It probably won't be a very bulky uh, extended match. So get excited and go Seeking! What is going on, guys? Jodor here, your coach of the Seattle Sea Kings for Season 2 of the National Pokemon Association. Last week, as you guys know, we went 1-0 to beat the Iowa... or we won against the Iowa Haluchas by a 4-0 to go 1-0 going into this week. So, we've got a bit of a momentum behind us. We're taking on Jared, aka Baby Potter, coach of the AV Dunce Barcelona. And they lost first week, but I wouldn't write him off for a reason of, A, his team is very scary looking. Uh, he and so two he uh, a b whatever he lost to Tesla so really good opponent to lose to and on top of that we've only battled once before and he beat me before so I am not about to write Jared off here by any stretch of the imagination no sir but let's go ahead and take a look at the team we're bringing today we've got of course uh, Rotom Heat Cliff Fable uh, Archaeops Mega Manectric Gengar and Ferrisseed so we're gonna see how this goes hopefully he doesn't bring anything ready to destroy us and hopefully we're able to squeeze out a win here so get excited and if you're hyped for this battle please hit that like button down below before we get started it really helps me out and supports the Seattle Sea Kings and I would greatly appreciate it thank you very much anyway on to the battle I guess Jared is doing a slightly longer intro than I do which is fine because I did my little preamble uh, which you guys will see at the beginning of this video so it's all good anyway I've got my sleeper calc loaded up on the left here with everything that I expect I've got a notepad doc with my team with my builds and I've got a notepad doc with uh, what I expect to see or sorry what I don't expect to see so I can quickly swap it in so if you see me really frantically uh, swapping stuff in that means I got builds wrong and I need to I need to figure out what he's actually going to do based off what I see here so Waiting on, he's taken quite a bit with his intro. He's probably talking. Oh, here we go. We're getting started. Oh, I'm excited. It's, I'm excited. This is this is the moment. This is the time. And he's bring. Oh, he did bring. Wow. Alrighty then. You know what? That's fine. That Greninja gets one shot by everything. Be my be my guest. Be my guest. So he didn't bring no Halucha and no Roserade. Okay, but I did get his core four right, which was the Kiram Black, the Claydol, the Megaltaria, and the Mew, of course. So let's go ahead, really quickly swap some builds out on the Sweeper Calc. So we've got that ready. Uh, we've got Greninja, and we've got Tauros. Interesting. Got Definitely got to look out for that. Could be Life Orb, could be Banded, could be Sashed. I don't know. It's not going to be fun either way. So... Let's delete that and take that and that and that and that and that and that. How much time do I have? Enough. We're going to make it happen and import to target team. And we got our team ready to go. So he could be sashed with, on that Greninja. Anyway, you know what? One of the big threats to Pebbles. Or one of the biggest threats to Pharisee. Off the world. You know what? I'm, I'm leading Pebbles. I'm leading Pebbles. If We're, we're going to find out right away if he's running a Scarfed. Uh, scarfed Mew, which is what I'm afraid of more than anything else on this team. We're adamant Scarfed Archaeops here, so we can lead. Maybe he thinks we'll go for rocks or something like that. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, here goes nothing. So off we go on this battle here, and I'm going to really quickly grab the team so you can see what's alive on the on the dock here. I, I can see it anyway. So he's going to lead off with Tabes as Claydol. Ooh, I'm okay with that. I am very, very much okay with that. So he's obviously going to go for a stealth rock lead here. Unfortunately, I don't have any one-shot move for this, but what I can do is I can go out right away. I can immediately go for the U-turn and go into uh, either my Gengar or my... I could go into my Clefable too. That might be a good idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's U-turn into Clefable here. Because we can switch in safely on rocks, because we know he's going to go for rocks. Let's be honest with ourselves here. So we're going to get our U-turn off. And how much damage is that going to do? Adamant U-turn does a little over 50%. Fine by me. Fine by me. Absolutely, that's fine by me. Anyway, so we're going to go out into Mama Cass here. Our Wish Passing Clefable with Magic Guard. So the rocks aren't going to do much of anything. We're going to get a free... He's going to go for Psychic. Ouch. That's actually going to hurt. I mean, a little more, a little less than I thought it would do, but that's still gonna hurt. God damn. Why would he, what would he expect me to go out into Gengar? He expected me to go into Gengar. You cheeky little Jared. I see you. I see you thinking I'm going for that. 
You know what? But you know what you're not expecting? You're not expecting Ice Beam, or at least I like to think you're not expecting Ice Beam. So we're gonna go with the Ice Beam here. We're gonna see if we can take out this Claydol right now. If we can prevent Rocks from coming on the field, we'll be in a great, great spot. Maybe he, he's not gonna go into Altaria. Maybe he'd go into Kirem. There's a chance he'd go into Kirem, maybe try to get some Iron Head hacks off. He, would, he probably wouldn't switch in thinking a Moonblast is coming. He's gonna go out. Who's he gonna go into? Who's he gonna go into? Please go into, he's going out into Omni. He's going into Mew. That thing has got Iron Head. 100% that thing's got Iron Head. Please freeze. Pick up a freeze while we're chilling here. Nope. Oh, he's Leftovers. He's Leftovers. That changes everything. He could still very well be Iron Head. He could still very well be a physical vari variant. Or maybe this is his rocker. This might be his rocker. So I don't want to T-Wave this thing because if I T-Wave it, then I'm in a world of trouble. So instead, I'm just going to... What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I kind of want to wish and then go out into Archaeops again and just take a take a whatever comes my way. So let's do that. We're going to wish. We're going to go out into, into Archaeops. He's going to go for knockoff. I don't really care. He's going to go for knockoff. I really don't care. Good to know. This is his trap. This is the... He went with the standard set. He went with the standard set Mew. He went with the defensive bulky ass Mew that people are familiar with. So that's good to know. Um, well, now that we got our wish off, he knows that this, you know, no, I can't switch out here because if I switch out and he goes for another knockoff, I just lost my choice scarf. So I don't want that. On the plus side, a Moonblast is going to take lives. Like we're talking 50, 40 to 50% on Mew and then 70 plus percent on everything else. So we're just going to stand in Moonblast. I hope he predicts the switch. He's going to go for will -O I'm Magic Guard, dude. I don't know if you were thinking I'd go unaware, but I am Magic Guard. That does nothing to me. Or maybe he thought I was going to switch out. That's also possible. Nice little fake out there then. That works. Wow, that did nothing. He is a special variant, or he's a choice, or not choice, assault vested uh, variant. No, he's, he's already leftovers. He can't be assault vested. He's just really specially bulky. Okay. Well, now that I'm burned, I can go for T-Wave on this thing and hope he doesn't go out into Claydol again. Uh, but now that I'm burned, he, he gave me free permission. He can't synchronize it onto me. I don't, I think Mew, I feel like Mew gets synchronized. It might not, but anyway, we're going to see what he does here. Hopefully he doesn't go back out into Claydol. If he does, it's not a huge deal. But if we are able to paralyze something else on this team, that'll be huge. That will be huge. And once again, by the way, oh, you know what? I just realized, first of all, I need to take my bottom screen off. There's no reason for that to be there. My bad. And second of all, I was going on to Europa. What is Europa? Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna matter. That thing doesn't get guts, does it? What is that thing's ability? What is that thing's ability? What is this guy's ability? Sheer force? Could be sheer force. I don't know what its other options are. But gosh darn it, if I wanted to, if I would not want to take a hit from that, you have no idea. Okay, so it could get fire blast apparently. This this thing's predicting a uh, it having fire blast as a last resort, but that'd be all kinds of fun to tank. Uh, I mean, we could predict the Zen. We could predict the Earthquake. We could predict the Iron Head. If we go into the if we go into Pharisee here, we can tank that just fine. But then we're running into the possibility of that Fire Blast and running into the possibility of quite a couple other things here. So I'm more curious than anything else. I'm gonna wish if he does something that really hurts, then we will stay in and take the heal. And if well, I mean, and if it's either too much or if uh, he goes for the Iron Head. Okay, there's the Iron Head. Ow! God damn, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so that was a bad idea, and now we've basically lost Mama Cass here. I gotta hope and pray that we can pick up. I mean, if I go, if he's going Iron Head, if he's going Iron Head, I get a free switch into Manectric if he's some kind of choice variant. That could have been a Banded Tauros, which would be really, really bad. That would be really bad. I kind of want to just stay and hope for Parahax and hit him with a Moonblast and see what it does. And it sounds like a bomb went off outside my house. That's all kinds of fun. I hope I don't lose my recording right now. That would really suck. Anyway, so I don't know what that was. We're just going to... Uh, I really don't like playing this kind of game. I'm going to Moonblast and stay in. I'm going to Moonblast and stay in. Please, Parahax, come through right now more than ever. Or more than ever, come through right now. Right now. Nice and damage. And he's not going to... Oh, that's annoying. All right. Well, Mama Cass is going to go down early and for no good reason he probably realizes by now we were a uh, modest variant i'm hoping he notices that by now because honestly i don't know what um i could you know what my best play right now is to go into Mega Man here 
Go ahead. He didn't get rocks up, but he still could get rocks up. He still has that clay doll on the field there predicting uh, some kind of switch in involving that. So what I want to do is I've got HP fighting here. I've got HP fighting here. Do I want to use HP fighting? Yeah, let's use HP fighting. HP fighting comes in. It takes out the Tauros, takes out the uh, Greninja, or at least puts it in kill range. Um, yeah, it, it, HP's our play. HP's our play. So let's go. Oh, I have to mega. I was like, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to pull a, a fiasco that happened. I was gonna say maybe we save it and get the intimidate, but no, 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 no. We have to do that. So we're gonna mega up. We're gonna mega up. I don't know if he wants to sack Europa here. It's paralyzed. He might as well sack it. Uh, he is going to sack it. Okay. So we're gonna reveal our HP that it's HP fighting, which you know is a bit of a downer, but it's not the end of the world. It'll at least let us know if we've got a uh, a choice scar or uh, a choice scarfed Kiram on our hands. So we're gonna get that HP off. Kind of take him by surprise, maybe. Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to die either way. I'm a little bummed that we revealed that, to be perfectly honest. But it's okay. We can switch out and come back in with something else uh, if we see that an earthquake might be coming. So I need to worry about that gosh darn clay doll. If he goes into that clay doll, I overheat. That's my play. If he goes into anything else, I'm volting out. Because I don't want to deal with, you know, whatever he's got here. I don't want to deal with whatever he's got playing for me. Colum... Mmm... Cumulus. Cumulus. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. That's gonna be all kinds of fun. Crap! That was bad. Now that, now that, now that, oh, no, 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 no. This is not what we want. This is not what we want. We are vaulting and going into, uh, Rotom right now. We are, we are vaulting into Rotom right now. We are vaulting into Rotom. He's gonna mega up. That's, of course, to be expected. But I am not, under any circumstances, about to take hyper voice from this thing so let's get the hell out of there let's get the hell out of there we got our volt switch off that's always good he doesn't have mold breaker he can't do anything like the only thing he could do i don't even think he gets scald so there's really nothing he could do that's super effective to me right now so we're gonna go out into rotom mixtape here we're gonna go out into our rotom we're gonna go out into our rotom what's he gonna do dragon dance oh shit this is a physical variant no that's okay that's okay this is a this is a this is a physical wall Ooh, I'm really glad you did that, Jared. Jared, I'm really glad you did that. Thank you for doing that. So let's go. Do we want a willow or do we want to reflect? I think at this point in time, a willow is a little more important. So let's get our willow off. Go ahead and switch out, Jared. I know you're not going to want to take this willow. And you know that a willow is coming. I would not have gone into it if only to do damage. So he's going to go out probably into Claydol, but I think I'll speed it and I can just overheat it next turn. So that's a thing. Anyway, I'm really nervous about this thing. If, he, if Maybe he gets greedy and goes for another setup just to mitigate the Willow, but then I've got uh, Reflect, so I don't really care if he does that. So we'll be in, in good in good shape either way. I mean, if he wants to do quarter damage, that's cool by me. You know, I don't I don't really mind. Let's see what he does here. He's got options here. He's got, he could go right on to Claydol, and then we're right in that position where we can still get Stealth Rocks. Uh, put up on us and I really really would like to avoid that if absolute if at all possible um, I just need to do a slight bit of damage to this guy let something go down and then I can just come in and revenge kill it with uh, with Archeops here no problem choice scarf head smash destroys that thing uh, and I don't think he'd run a dragon dance bulky variant but I could be wrong I very well could be wrong honestly I've only played Jared once so I can't say I know too much about his battling style uh, plus it was a long time ago it was at least it was at least two three months ago that we battled so it's it's been a while it's, it's been a while for sure anyway he's taking his sweet time which means he's not 100 percent sure who he wants to go and he can catch a burn with um because i i took out the only guy with a status so something's catching a burn he doesn't want to go into mew he's just gonna roost really do you think i was vaulting catch this willow go ahead jared catch this willow I don't know what you were expecting there. I have no idea what he was expecting there. Why would he do that? Why would he stay in and heal when I've got a Willow Whisper on my team? Like, why is that? A, why? Dragon Dance again all you want, man. I mean, go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. Go right ahead. Um, this is the time, I guess, where I set up a Reflect. So now we're... Now he's times... Now he's times cut in half, even though he's got... Uh, even though he's got his Dragon Dances up, I honestly still might outspeed him with Choice Scarf Gengar. 
if he's uh, if he's not a fast variant. So that's something to try and hope for. So let's go and vault out. We're gonna vault out in a Gengar here. He's gonna Dragon Dance again. Go ahead. Go right ahead. We're gonna vault out into Gengar and we're gonna Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is 100% our play. I think, I think we live one hit of anything. Does he even do anything to us? I mean, he, he obviously can just go for a return. Uh, he can't Earthquake, so that's a thing. Do I outspeed? Do I outspeed? Do I outspeed? You know what? Wait, it's, oh, it's, he's plus three. He's plus three, but he's minus four, so he's effectively minus one. I, I feel like I can live a hit. I feel like I can live a hit from anything that comes my way, even if he outspeeds. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for. So out we go into Gengar. Our Choice Guard variant. Burn damage is going to do its thing. Burn damage is going to do its thing. You know what, though? Daz do I have Dazzling Gleam on this guy? I do have Dazzling Gleam on this guy. He might predict the Sludge Bomb. But to be honest, if he's thinking of switching out, I could always Dazzling Gleam right now. And that should still take it out. Um, no, there I run the risk of it not dying. So that's not good. Let's Sludge Bomb. Play on, play on, the, play on the side of Caution. And Sludge Bomb. We are Jolly Choice or Choice Scarfed. I don't know if we outspeed at, when he's at plus three. I really doubt we outspeed, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to see if we can live a hit from anything here. We're definitely going to see if we can. We're going to try. Um, so, waiting on this Altaria here to make its move. I, I really wanted to make sure I put the speed pressure on because I've got type advantages in a lot of situations here. I just need to make sure I outspeed above anything else here, especially with this Dragon Dance setup. Now that I've got him down to times a quarter with the Reflect and the Burn. I mean, obviously now he's plus three, so he's minus one. But basically, I'm control. I'm trying to minimize his attack while simultaneously maximizing my speed. So he's gonna he's gonna stay in. I'm gonna Sledge Bomb. Oh, that is huge. That is huge! That Mega Altaria dropped like a sack of bricks! Oh my god, that Mega Altaria is down for the count! Our Choice Scarf Sludge Bomb Gengar comes through! Oh my lord, and he's got... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's got... Times half damage still because of the Reflect. You know what? Go Fire Blast me. I dare you, Jared. I dare you to fire blast me. I honestly have no clue if he even has fire blast or HP fire. All right, no, he doesn't get fire blast. He gets HP fire. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna go out. Not about to take a hit from this thing. Please don't also dragon dance. Please be a scarf variant. 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 Earth power. I should have stayed in. I'm loving. Oh wait, no, Terra Volt. Terra Volt. Good call. Good call. Put man, playing it safe. Good call. Um, now we've got options here. For the first time, we've got options. If he's a choice set, which is very common on a Kirim. He will go out into either, let's see, who did I take out? Oh, I also took out the Tauros. So he could go into Greninja. He could go into Mew. He could go into Claydol. He could have HP Fire and stay in. I don't know. Do we live in HP Fire at this range? Mm, I don't have it calc here. You know what? Let me, let me grab it real quick. Uh, hidden power, hidden power. And what's the one for HP Fire? Oh, there's HP Fire. Okay, so HP Fire does 50 to 61%. So I can stay in and just Gyro Ball. We're just going to stay in and Gyro Ball. He's going to withdraw. Little Pharisee. Little young Pharisee coming up. He obviously doesn't have HP Fire. That's incredibly important. We're going to get our Gyro Ball off. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, that hurt a lot. Nice crit. I will take those all day. And I kind of want to stay in here. I reflect more off. I don't really care. To be perfectly honest, I'm just going to Leech Seed. My play is to Leech Seed. He's going to go for Roost. He's going to softball. Same, same deal. Same difference. Same difference. You know what? I'm going to go for a T-Wave now. Because if he stays in, then I am free to... Oh, I could Protect. But that'd be, that'd be rude. I shouldn't Protect. Um, he might not expect Thunder Wave on two mods. Actually, I haven't used... I mean, I did use, use T-Wave this game already, didn't I? Yeah, I know I must have. I know I must have. Anyway, I'm, I'm losing my brain. Anyway, so I don't know what your answer to me is, to be honest. He's probably going to go for a knockoff. Oh, he's definitely going to go for a knockoff. Hello? He's already revealed knockoff. Uh, so let's just protect then. Well, we could stall one turn out with protect, or we could T-Wave. What's more important to me? Getting T-Wave off on this Mew or not losing our item here. I feel like not losing our item is just a tiny bit more important. Just a, just a tad. 
So I think with that in mind, we're gonna go out into, ooh, I could go out, I could go out into Mega Man. I could go out into Mega Man, then he's in trouble. No, 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 we'll play it safe, we'll play it safe. We'll go back out and Rotom Mixtape and get our Reflect back up. So let's do that, we're gonna go out, we're not gonna lose our item. We're not gonna lose our item. We're playing very conservatively here right now. We are in control of this match at the moment. He's gonna willow. He's gonna willow! Yes! Oh my god, that's beautiful. Great switch in. Great. Freaking great switch in. So we got that Leech Seed damage coming through. We have Altaria off the board. We have Tauros off the board. All I have to do... I mean, I could... I can willow. I can willow! I can willow anything on this team! This is wonderful! Let's willow. Let's Willow. He's gonna go out into the clay doll or the or the Kiram? Kiram? Tapes? No, it's the, that's the clay doll. Okay, that's fine. You know what? We're gonna get our Willow off on this here clay doll. Hopefully I outspeed so we can't set up rocks. I'm really not sure who outspeeds here. I have no idea who outspeeds here. So that thing, most likely max speed. What is its base? What is this thing's base speed? This thing's base speed is... Da, 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 da. The answer is 75, and Rotom Heat's base speed is 86. So unless he's complete max speed invested, he probably won't outspeed us and get his rocks up. But you know what? If he does get his rocks up at this point, I don't really care. Um, he doesn't. He can't hit me with a ground move. The only thing he, he, he doesn't have like HP water or something. So there's no way. Um, you could go for you could go for Stone Edge. That's the only thing I could see him going for. So you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna reflect one more time. No, I kind of want to just overheat. Screw it! I'm overheating. We're taking some, a little bit of chances here. We're gonna outspeed and we're gonna overheat. Do I take this guy out? I think we do. I think we do. Oh come on! Oh, we'll take him out to burn damage, but that's okay. Oh, he's gonna Shadow Ball. Ooh, ooh, that does nothing. We are so in control of this match. Holy cow! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! And his knockoff user hasn't knocked. Oh wait, he's not gonna. He's not gonna die. He's not gonna die. No, oh, he died. I was actually hoping he wouldn't die, so that way I could get my reflect back up. But now I have to deal with Kieran Black, and that's not something I'm looking forward to here. So Claydol is down. That's a huge threat out of the way. That's awesome. So now we've got Greninja, Mew, and Kieran that we have to worry about. So he's going back out to Omni. That's is Mew. Why? I, I don't I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. I, I still don't know what his answer to me is. So I'm gonna set up my reflect now. Better safe than sorry. I know this is my physical. He's gonna scald. Okay. Good to know that that little bugger packs scald. That is important. That is good to know. We're gonna get our reflect up. And as much as I want to go out into Ferrisseed, I bet he wants me to go out into Ferrisseed so he can predict with the knockoff this turn. Uh, I think we can live one more Scald if we decide to stand, and I'm not too, I'm not too concerned if Rotom goes down here. To be honest, I'd actually, I would actually love for Rotom to go down. So I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna Willow. I'm gonna stay in and Willow. That's my play. Maybe he goes for knockoff if I'm, if I'm lucky. That would be his prediction, and then he can call it wrong, and then I can get a Willow off on Omni here. That's my hope. That's my hope and prayer. Nope, he's gonna Scald. It's all right. Live, live on two. Live on two. Nope, all right, we're not living, that's okay. That's okay, we did not have to live for that situation to work. He does not have rocks up and Claydol is down. So he cannot get rocks up this game, which was a huge, huge problem that I was gonna have to deal with. So he's already know, he already knows that I have U, um, he already knows I have U-turn. So something's gonna take a U-turn hit real badly here. Uh, honestly, Kyurem doesn't take a whole lot of damage from it, but that's okay. You know what? I think my play here... I think my play here is to just U-turn, kill whatever comes in, unless he goes into Kyurem, and then just go for a... Actually, you know what? U-turn might not kill this guy. U-turn might not kill this guy. I could crunch it, couldn't I? Crunch? Would that do enough? No, crunch wouldn't do enough either. I would have to head smash. And I really don't want a chance a head smash missing at this point in the game. So we're going to U-turn. We're going to play conservatively with Pebbles here. Hopefully he goes out into Greninja, forgetting that I have it. But most likely he's going to go out into Kira. That's his most likely scenario. Uh, he's going to stay in, actually. Okay. So, oh, and he's not going to die either. That's just peachy. Uh, so Scald and Knockoff are his revealed moves. So I guess I just hope and pray he doesn't have an Earth 
power or uh, earthquake like move and just go out into Mega Man. That's my play. That's my play. Come on, Mega Man. Come on, Mega Man. Even if he's got Earthquake, I think we'll be okay here. Uh, maybe going to knock off Skull. Is he Skull? That's fine. That's all right. That's all right. We we eat those for breakfast. We eat those for breakfast. I don't even care if it was a burn. I would not care at all if it was a burn. So at this moment in time, it's time for me to Thunderbolt. I'm about ready to just Thunderbolt the shit out of this thing. So let's do that. We are we are in a good spot in this match right now. So all we need to do is Thunderbolt. Hopefully this does enough. Oh, special bulk not going to be enough. Mew is going to drop. Mew is down. All that leaves is Greninja and Kirin Black. All that leaves is Greninja and Kirin Black. And I honestly don't need... I don't need my Manectric to get through here. So if Kirin Black comes in and he goes... And I still have my Reflect, right? I still have my Reflect. So that's a thing. So if he goes for Earthquake and has uh, Choice Scarf and outspeeds, it's not really the end of the world here. I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm just going to HP Fighting. I'm going to HP Fighting and hope I can do about 50% damage to this guy. That'll be ideal. That'll be optimal. Maybe he's Choice Banded. If he's Choice Banded, he's going to take a hit. So good, goody, goody, goody. Um, if he goes out into Greninja, if he tries to double out, HP Fighting is still going to do, you know, a decent chunk. Uh, it's going to do 62 to 74, and HP Fighting will do 43 to 51. So I don't really care what he does. If he takes out my Manectric, it's not a big deal. I'm playing a game of attrition here right now. I know that Gengar can come in and Dazzling Gleam and kill whatever decides to come in. So honestly, as long as this Greninja is not Scarfed, and even if it is, I'm pretty sure that Gengar still outspeeds it. Oh no, it might not. Okay, we're gonna get our HP Fighting off. HP Fighting, oh, he's bulky. That's a bulky variant, he's gonna earth power. That sucks. That sucks. Hopefully he's Choice Specs. He's not Choice Specs, he's definitely Life Orb. He's definitely Life Orb. Good to know that he's very, Oh, you know what? I think it's time we head smash. As much as I hate to admit it, I think it's time we head smash. Well, there's a time for everything. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. There's no reason to take that big of a risk at this point in time. So we're going to stay in. We're going with free hugs. We're going to go with free hugs. His knockoff user is gone. And we're free to gyro ball. We're free to gyro ball. So let's do Or I could leave C. No, 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 no. We're gyro balling. We're gyro balling. We're gyro balling. Don't have HP Fire. You already revealed that you didn't have it before. Or like you already... You didn't reveal that you had it. I think is what, is what I'm trying to say. So, Earth Power. He's going to withdraw. Oh, we're going to do so much damage to this guy, even though it's not very effective. Yakuza. Good to know I revealed this guy. Gyro Ball. In it comes. Come on, Gyro Ball. Do your thing. Oh, wow. That does nothing. Never mind. Ignore what I said. Uh, I guess my next play is to T-Wave you and hope that you don't have HP Fire. Don't have HP Fire. Don't do it. You ain't, you ain't real. You ain't real. You ain't real enough. You ain't you ain't the realist. He's going to Scald. Hope for that burn. That's okay. I'm just going to Leech Seed. I can just start Leech Seeding and tanking. There's, there's really nothing he can do to me at this point. So we're going to T-Wave up on that Greninja. That Greninja is going to be relatively powerless now. Uh, most of its advantage comes from its speed. And honestly, my play right now, my win con here is if Ferris Seed goes down, I go into I go into Archeops, Head Smash, or U-Turn, whatever is easier. Um, and then go into Gengar, and then Gengar can clean up a Dazzling Gleam. So that's what, that's what I'm hoping happens. And I wouldn't say my match is set in stone yet, but it's very much looking to be in my favor right now. He's going to Scald, hoping for that burn, but honestly, Leech Seed is going to do just as much health back as the burn is going to do to me. So we're going to get our Leech Seed off here, and Little Pharaoh Seed here is actually going to be the, the one thing that we needed to come through and be able to handle most of this opponent, uh, most of this team here. So I kind of want to protect, but I almost more, you know what, I will protect one turn. I will protect one turn. Just force the issue that, no, Jared, you do need to switch out. Uh, I'm not just going to let you sit here all day. So I'm just going to protect once. He's not going to stay. He's not going to go out. He's just going to stay in and start scalding. Uh, so he's going to, I'm going to just be able to do chip damage at this point. Um, Pharisee is going to do exactly what it is really good at doing. I kind of want to hit him one more time, but honestly, the burn doesn't really matter to me. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to T-Wave again in case he goes out into Kirim. That's what I'm going to do. He's just gonna, he's staying in, he's desperate for that burn. The, po the point of the matter is I don't really care if he burns. 
Um, he's gonna crit, and there's the burn. That's okay. Um, I don't really care that he burns. I can just kind of hack away at him little by little. I'm gonna gain most of that health back that the burn damage will do. So, we're okay. I really don't mind. I know I can live one hit from anything that Kiram comes in with. I can T-wave it, and then I can come in and follow up and just lay waste. So, or I could leech seed it too. That is also an option. So, Pharisee is actually gonna be able to clutch this game out here, here I think. So let's go ahead and protect one more time. Hopefully he goes out. He's not going to go out. He's committed to the very end to watch this Greninja falter, which, you know what? It's fine by me. He's not He's not going to kill this thing. He's really not. There's no way he's going to kill this thing. And you know what? Since I know he's committed to that game, I'm going to take that 50% chance and try to get the second protect here because there's really no reason for me to... Uh, there's no reason for me to T-Wave because he's, he's committed to the game and he's committed to staying in. And I'm just gonna, So I'm just going to protect we're not going to get it. Okay. I'm not, oh, he's going to be fully paired. Same same deal. Same diff. Same diff. All right. We're going to get our Leech Seed off. We're going to get our Leech Seed off. It's not going to quite be enough to take him out. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. I do not mind it at all. The Parahacks are going to come in right when we needed them. I still think I should Leech Seed just in case he goes out trying to preserve this thing, but I really don't think he would. Uh, I mean, if he's choiced. He could be choiced uh, still. Did he reveal two moves? He might not have. Earth Power and... No, I think he went out after that. I think he went out after that. I'm not sure. I feel like he. I feel like he's revealed it already. Maybe he hasn't. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna suck it up and take the hit. To be honest, I don't really care. I'm going to T-Wave. I'm gonna T-Wave and on the off chance he switches out. He's gonna be fully parried. It's not gonna matter. I'm sorry, Jared. Uh, These parahacks are just being brutal right now. So we got our lead seed coming through, and Greninja is going to go down to a Pharisee because we successfully played around that Mew that had knockoff, didn't let it get its knockoff off on Pharisee, which would have been the death of us uh, if that Eviolite had been lost. But instead, we're going to be able to tank against this uh, Grande Negro over here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Kiram Black. Terra Volt's not going to matter. We already know he doesn't have HP Fire. He would have used it by now. Now I'm pretty much safe to Leech Seed. I, I kind of want to Thunder Wave first, just to be honest, just in case we get that tiny bit of hacks. But I feel like the health might come in a little more handy. So we're going to Leech Seed real quick. We're going to Leech Seed here. Who would have thought Eviolite Pharisee is going to be what comes in and saves my behind from a team that I was so freaking scared of. And I gotta hand it to you, Jared, if you're watching this. Your team scares the ever-loving hell out of me. Thank God I'm burned right now because I don't have to worry about that freezing me. I'm gonna get my leech seat off. He's gonna avoid it. Whatever. That sucks. You know what? That's that's okay. Actually, that actually is gonna matter. Holy crap. That sucks. That sucks. But you know what? That's okay. Because we can just come in. Even if it ends up being a 1-0, I don't care. I will be happy with the result. I'm just gonna T-wave. Make sure I can do as much as possible. Hopefully we live this with a few points of health left. Uh, we are not going to live. All right. So no T-Wave on, no T-Wave on Kiram here. That's going to matter a bit. So that's a problem. Uh, let's see. How much damage do my other moves do to this guy? Crunch does 26 to 31%. So, and Dazzling Gleam is my play here with Gengar. So let's do that. Let's do that. I don't know if he has an answer for me. I don't know. He's leftovers, so he's not choice. I don't know why I kept thinking he was choice. He's revealed leftovers by now. Um, but we can just kind of go in with our Dazzling Gleam here. And I know we're Scarf, so we'll definitely outspeed. And I he didn't bring Scarf at all. I could have run Specs and Band on here, and we would have been okay. Oh my god, that takes so much damage. Oh, he's terrible. I was going to say, why would you do that? Oh my god, we're living that. Okay, that's going to actually matter. That's going to matter. I forgot this guy's a special variant, so that's going to suck. Anyway, let's just go for Dazzling Gleam here and hope to God that I'm able to get a crit or a high roll or something. I'm actually a little nervous right now just because of uh, I don't like relying on that 70%. And if that misses, then we actually could still lose this. I know we've been in control this whole match, and I really don't want to throw that away right now. So we're going to Dazzle up. We're... <sighs> that sounds really weird. We're going to dazzle up. Hopefully we can take this thing out. He might predict we go into uh, Archeops here. It's not really going to matter. Uh, oh my god. I'm actually really nervous right now. I got really nervous again. There we go. Damage, damage, damage. It's going to Ice Beam. Bulky set. Good lord. 
Alright, I don't feel confident that I can live a hit from this thing. Or I don't feel confident that, um, I don't feel confident that I can take it out with either of my other moves here. So, here we go, going into pebbles. I'm gonna have to rely on a 30% miss chance to pull the win out here. Oh my god, I've never been more nervous in this in my entire career as a battler. Don't you god dare, dare miss. Oh my god, we won! We won! Head smash! Come through! And Grande Negro's gonna go down and we won the match! 1-0! Holy shit, I got cocky there and it almost bit me in the ass. And oh my god, Archeops with head smash going to come through to finish off Choice Scarfed Archeops is going to win this battle against, uh, against a Kirem Black. That 30% chance miss would have mattered and we would have lost this battle if that didn't come through, because I don't even think it, def well, no, Defeatus would have done it, but we might have died to the Ice Beam here. So, oh my god, that was so close. That was too close. I don't like that. I don't like how close that was. I need to not let that be that close in the future. Whoo! Well, that happened! Okay, so, I hope you guys liked that battle, because I really liked that battle. Go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, hit that like button down below if you have not already. Next week, we go up against, let me grab our schedule here real quick. Next week we go up against, let me find that out, trying to find that out, who do we go up against next? And we go up against the Los Angeles Clef Keys, my buddy Key Darkness Dragon here, so that'll be a fun match, get excited for that. And this is Jodor, coach of the Seattle Sea Kings for Season 2, signing out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. We go 2-0, and oh, and then honestly I've, we've, I've, never felt, I've never felt the Sea Kings were in a better position than they are right now. So, I'll see you guys all next time, Bye bye